he took my childhood and is destroyed. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most beautiful Broadway slow jams in history. Number 10, Somewhere That's Green, Little Shop of Horrors. A matchbox of her own, a fence, a real chain link. A melody so beautiful, Alan Menken used it a second time. Somewhere That's Green sounds an awful lot like another of Menken's collaborations with Howard Ashman. Part of that world. In fact, it's so similar to the Little Shop of Horrors track that the duo apparently nicknamed it Somewhere That's Wet. Either way, we've got to give it up for the original. Somewhere That's Green is sung by the character of Audrey as she discusses her desire for a regular old happy life. There's plastic on the furniture to keep it neat and clean in the pine soul scented air somewhere that's green the quintessential I Want song. Somewhere That's Green has a stunning melody. It's one of the most gorgeous, earnest songs in a show that's full of darkly comedic moments. Somewhere that's green. Number 9, Say It Somehow, The Light in the Piazza. Why don't you trace it all? Perhaps one of the most stellar Broadway scores of this century comes from 2005's The Light in the Piazza. Written by Adam Gettle, the musical follows a southern woman whose daughter falls in love while the pair are vacationing in Italy. I love the sound of touch me. I think I hear the sound of wrap your arms around me. Say It Somehow is sung between Clara and Fabrizio at the moment they profess their love for each other. It sounds just like romance feels, with sweeping verses and evocative lyrics. With music that's almost overwhelmingly melodic, the original production had a 15-piece orchestra that brought to life songs like this stunning duet. Number 8, I Know Him So Well, Chess. Isn't it madness? He can be mine. If there's one thing those ABBA boys know how to do, it's write a good ballad that makes a crossover hit. Chess might not be as popular as their other musical Mamma Mia, but it does have a number of amazing ballads. Anthem and Someone Else's Story could have easily made this list. In a way, it's someone story I don't see myself as taking part at all but we love a power ballad and I know him so well might have the most power of any ballad we've ever heard fantasy and freedom I know him so well the duet has two women singing about the man they love but for different reasons the verses have them singing about their own emotions, and then the choruses bring them together for a rousing climax. We're too tired to understand him. Number 7, Memory, Cats. Memory. 
Everything about Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats is a little bit silly, but between all the songs that are essentially just cats introducing themselves, there's memory. Say what you will about the content of the musical, but this song is one of the best ballads out there, in connection to the theater or otherwise. Someone mutters and the street lamp sputters and soon Sung by Grizabella the Glamour Cat, Memory has completely surpassed Cats as a concept. Memory, all alone in the moonlight, I can smile at the old days, I was beautiful then. The high, lilting melody eventually transitions into something so deeply, strongly emotional, it's impossible not to be moved. You may even find yourself humming the tune a few hours later. Don't worry, us too. Look. A new day. Number 6. She Used to Be Mine, Waitress It's not simple to say most days, I don't recognize me. It's hard to get a relatively new Broadway ballad into the pantheon of the best ballads ever, but back in 2016, Sarah Bareilles did it. The musical Waitress benefits heavily from Bareilles' penchant for melody and sure pen. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely, most of the time. All the songs are great, but the best of the bunch has to be She Used to Be Mine. The song comes at a turning point for our main character, Jenna, who finds herself pregnant and stuck in an abusive marriage. Who was reckless, just enough, who gives her, but who learns how to There's a complexity to the ballad as Jenna laments her old life and contemplates her uncertainty about the baby inside of her. Borellis handles all those nuances with grace, and we ended up with a song that gives us goosebumps every time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be. Number 5. I Dreamed a Dream, Les Miserables. I dreamed a dream in time gone Sometimes you've got to go back to the classics. Les Miserables is the first musical that a lot of budding theater kids become aware of, and many of those kids spend their younger days belting those Les Miserables ballads out in their bedrooms. Some of us might have a fondness for On My Own, but there's a clear winner here. Since the very first time Les Miserables took the stage, I Dreamed a Dream has been rising to iconic status. Despite how specific Fontaine's situation is, the song has a very simple melody and outsized emotions, making it an easy one for anyone to latch onto. I had a dream my life would be <laughs> so different from this hell I'm living. Number four, I am changing. Dream Girls. Look at me. There are plenty of ballads in Dreamgirls that tug at our heartstrings, but this one makes us smile, too. Seeing everything so clear. 
Effie, the main character in the musical, has a terribly hard time throughout the first act of the show. She's pregnant, Curtis has left her behind, and she's been kicked out of the Dreamettes. But I Am Changing comes at a moment in the second act when she's able to get her feet back under her. The song's lyrics are filled with such hope for the future while never letting go of the pain of the past. It's more of an upbeat ballad than most, but that accelerated rhythm matches the joyousness of the song. Number 3. The Music of the Night, The Phantom of the Opera Silently the senses abandon their defenses Listen, if Michael Crawford sang this to us, we might join him in his underground lair too. The Phantom of the Opera is one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's most well-known musicals, and The Music of the Night might be its biggest hit. Turn your thoughts away from cold Unfeeling light And listen to the music of the night Weber was at his best when he wrote this one, with its dynamic changes in soaring melody. But this really is a singer song, and those who have tackled it over the years have ranged from Ramin Karamloo to Barbara Streisand. There's so much life in this song, especially in those upper register moments. <laughs> It's no wonder we keep coming back to it time and time again. Number 2. Somewhere, West Side Story There's a place for us Somewhere a place for us. You know, we might never forgive Steven Spielberg for hitting us with that surprise Rita Moreno moment in the new West Side Story. No one likes to be caught off guard crying like that. There are a couple of beautiful ballads to choose from in West Side Story. Sorry to all the Tonight fans out there, but Somewhere has always been an instant classic. Somewhere. Leonard Bernstein's melody and Stephen Sondheim's simple lyrics combine to create something truly special. Somewhere is an anthem of hope and peace, and even though Tony and Maria don't necessarily get that peace, it's easy to believe they will listening to the song. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The I Love You Song, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. A trio we'll never get out of our heads. Mama, mama, mama. I had quietly packed. One Song Glory, Rent, a rock and ballad for the ages. As Long As He Needs Me, Oliver. Nancy's song of love makes us weep every time. I'll love him right, all right, and somehow I'll be strong. Joanna, Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. We feel this ballad in our bones. I'll steal Joanna. As if we never said goodbye, Sunset Boulevard. Norma Desmond takes the stage. Feel the magic in the making. Why, everything's as if we never said goodbye. Before we 
we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Send in the clowns, a little night music. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? How could it be anything else? Stephen Sondheim put his whole self into this one. Or did he? The funny thing about Send in the Clowns is that it was written during rehearsals for A Little Night Music, one of the last to be added to the show. One who keeps tearing around. One who can't move. And then it became one of the most well-known songs of all time. The melancholy beauty of Send in the Clowns evokes the story of two people who have just missed each other. But where are the clowns? There ought to be clowns. Quick send in the clowns. There's nothing sadder than that, but there's a funny kind of irony in it as well. That's what makes Send in the Clowns so iconic and long lasting its ability to recognize the humor in sadness. There ought to be clowns. Well, maybe. Next year. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.